no attachment. Harry hinted at unwillingness to reconcile with William as drained of privilege. According to a royal expert, Prince Harry is in regular touch with Prince Charles, but his relationship with Prince William has not recovered since the Oprah interview. After stepping down from royal duties last year, the Duke of Sussex, 38, is presently residing with the Duchess, 40, in their $14 million residence in California. Camilla Tomini has now questioned what Harry and Meghan Markle have actually been doing since leaving life as senior royals last year, stating there has been little evidence of a global wave of service sparked by the couple. Meanwhile she also noted Prince Harry's relationship with his family has barely improved over the last year, writing in the Telegraph, while Prince Charles is thought to be in regular contact with his youngest son. Harry's relationship with William has still not recovered from Oprah, after he suggested both his father and his brother felt trapped in the royal family. The pair are said to have had an incredibly strained relationship after two years of rose over Harry's wife and her alleged treatment of staff, the couple's decision to emigrate to America and the tons of truth bombs the Sussexes have dropped in TV interviews watched by tens of millions of people around the world. As the Queen has always stated, Prince Harry and Meghan, remain dearly loved members of the family, but it hasn't been easy, an insider told Camilla. It's difficult enough for any family to get along, but when such personal facts are broadcast on primetime television, it's even more difficult. Putting the genie back in the bottle is a difficult task. Meanwhile insiders also revealed how the Duke and Duchess live an extremely quiet and private life in their celebrity enclave of Montecito. They said the pair had barely been seen leaving the property during the last 18 months, and have rarely been seen in town. One neighbor, who had lived near the couple's mega mansion for decades, explained they had never seen them out and about. They said, I've only ever seen their security, no sightings of them on their road at all. I used to walk that mile every night. Camilla's comments come after another royal expert claimed the Queen is desperate to see her great-granddaughter Lilibet in person. Royal author Brian Hoey, who has written extensively about the royal family, told The Express that the monarch, 95, is very keen to meet the nine-months-old daughter of Prince Harry and Meghan in the flesh. So far, it is believed the Queen, who celebrates her Platinum Jubilee this year, has only met her 11th granddaughter, who is yet to travel to the UK, via video link. The comments come as Prince Harry files a legal challenge against the Home Office after being told that despite offering to pay for it, he would no longer be afforded Thesame degree of personal protective security while traveling from the United States. The royal wants to bring his children to visit from across the Atlantic, but does not feel safe when visiting under the current security arrangements, the High Court was previously told. Mr. Hoey said, I have heard from people I know within the royal household, she really would desperately like to see the baby in this way. I think she would love to, I wonder whether it is going to happen, I would love to think it could, he added. The expert said he believes that a meeting between the Queen and the newest member of the Sussex family would heal the reported rift between Harry and the other senior royals. He added that Her Majesty would welcome Prince Harry and Meghan back if they were to visit the UK with their children.